They're big, they're bad, and they're smarter than you. Because it's all part of the plan. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 smartest movie villains. I'm glad to have you aboard, Mr. Bond. For this list, we're looking at big screen bad guys with brains. You must break through the fog of lies the Jedi have created around you. While they might know how to throw a punch, these ingenious evildoers rely primarily on their super smarts and complex plots. Just so you know, there are some pretty big spoilers ahead, so look out. But until then, we do not alter the plan. Number 10, Colonel Hans Landa in Glorious Bastards. Well, I'm very familiar with you and your family. I have no way of knowing if you are familiar with who I am. Are you aware of my existence? A shrewd detective-like officer who speaks multiple languages. Signore in piacere. This nefarious Nazi is an evil version of Sherlock Holmes, complete with his classy pipe. Sitting in your chair would probably say the same thing. Only instead of solving crimes, Landa uses his powers of deduction to hunt down runaway Jews. An expert interrogator who reads people instantly. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? Landa is smart enough to never let patriotism get in the way and knows when it's time to switch sides. I would like the United States of America to purchase property for me on Nantucket Island as a reward for all the countless lives I've saved by bringing the tyranny of the National Socialist Party to a swifter than imagined end. Do you have all that, sir? While he occasionally struggles with English expressions, Ooh, that's a bingo! <laughs> this sly SS officer is definitely the cleverest character Quentin Tarantino has ever created. Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo? You just say bingo. Bingo! How fun! Number 9. Khan Noonien Singh, the Star Trek franchise. <laughs> While you don't want to meet the Boar Queen or General Chang in a dark alley, neither comes close to Khan. I'll chase him round the moons of Nibia and round the Antares maelstrom and round perdition's flames before I give him up. A genetically engineered dictator, this deep space superhuman is brainy, beefy, and isn't big on forgiveness. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. In The Wrath of Khan, he goes full out Ahab in his quest to kill Kirk using everything from a terraforming device to brain parasites. You see, their young enter through the ears and wrap themselves around the cerebral cortex. Uh, this has the effect of rendering the victim extremely susceptible to uh, suggestion. Over 30 years later, he returned as a one-man army trying to take out Starfleet in Star Trek Into Darkness. A smoke screen to conceal my true identity. My name is Khan. Whether young or old, Khan is the most evil Einstein the Enterprise ever encountered. If you want to know why I did what I did, go and take a look. Give me one reason why I should listen to you. I can give you 72. And they're on board your ship, Captain. They have been all along. Number eight, John Kramer, also known as the Jigsaw Killer, the Saw franchise. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. After learning he has an inoperable tumor, John Kramer tries to end it all. When there's that much poison in your blood, the only thing left to do is shoot yourself. But when he survives his suicide attempt, Kramer decides to help others stop wasting their lives by building death traps. An educated killer with a civil engineering background, Jigsaw puts his degree to use, building machines out of Rube Goldberg's worst nightmares. From razor wires to shotgun collars, Jigsaw's traps are sadistically clever, forcing victims to make life-changing decisions. That's a problem you're gonna have to solve before it's too late. And either you learn your lesson, or this crafty killer says, game over. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive, but not you, not anymore. 
Number seven, Hans Gruber, Die Hard. Ladies and gentlemen. Impeccably dressed and incredibly suave, this cultured criminal killed as easily as he quoted classic literature. And when Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Leading a team of hackers and thieves, Hans Gruber planned on drilling into a high-tech vault and stealing $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds. And this German mastermind came prepared. With his heist planned to a T, Gruber masqueraded as a hostage-taking terrorist, conning the FBI into playing along with his elaborate scheme. <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? If only a certain cowboy cop hadn't gotten a machine gun, this stylish supervillain would have gotten away clean. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki motherfucker. Number six, The Joker, The Dark Knight. What do you believe in, huh? What do you believe in? I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. In this superhero spectacle, Bruce Wayne is equipped with the latest crime-fighting gadgets and still has trouble outwitting the clown prince of crime. The most philosophical baddie on our list, the Joker doesn't care about money. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. He's playing for bigger stakes, like Harvey Dent. Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. This self-proclaimed agent of chaos is a first-rate trickster, bluffing and besting Batman at every turn. <laughs> you have nothing, nothing to threaten me with. While he hates making plans, this conniving crook is more than a match for the caped crusader. I took Gotham's white knight and I brought him down to our level. It wasn't hard. See, madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> Number five, Auric Goldfinger, Goldfinger. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. James Bond has battled some fearsome foes, but none was as wily as Auric Goldfinger. Twice our paths have crossed. Let's leave it at that. As crafty as he is greedy, this double-O scoundrel is an inventive smuggler with an outlandish plot to contaminate Fort Knox's gold supply with a radioactive bomb. They contain Delta-9. Delta-9? What's that? An invisible nerve gas, which disperses 15 minutes after inducing complete unconsciousness for 24 hours. In addition to his extravagant schemes, Goldfinger is one spectacular showman, using everything from gas to lasers to gold paint to ice his enemies. He might monologue occasionally, but this brilliant Bond baddie has certainly earned the right. This is gold, Mr. Bond. All my life I've been in love with its color, its brilliance. Number four, Emperor Palpatine, the Star Wars saga. Right, my friend. Look up the word manipulative in the dictionary, and you'll find a picture of Emperor Palpatine. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. He seems like an upstanding senator, but he's secretly the Dark Lord of the Sith. You will not stop me. Darth Vader will become more powerful than either of us. Strong in the dark side of the Force, as well as politics, Palpatine builds an army, declares himself emperor, and seduces Anakin Skywalker. And does all of this right under the nose of the Jedi. If you wish to become a complete and wise leader, you must embrace a larger view of the Force. Over 20 years later, he's still the smartest guy in the galaxy, tempting Luke and controlling Darth Vader, who's no intellectual slouch himself. What is thy bidding, my master? There is a great disturbance in the Force. I have felt it. Number three, HAL 9000, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Good afternoon, HAL. How's everything going? Good afternoon, Mr. Amer. Everything is going extremely well. 
He's efficient, effective, and super intelligent. Let me put it this way, Mr. Raymer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. Unfortunately, he's losing his mind. Yes. It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. At first glance, HAL 9000 is the perfect choice to run a spaceship on its way to Jupiter. HAL, despite your enormous intellect, are you ever frustrated by your dependence on people to carry out actions? Not in the slightest bit. I enjoy working with people. But when he starts to malfunction, astronauts Dave Bowman and Frank Poole decide to shut him down. Unfortunately, Hal reads lips and starts killing off the crew. With his creepy calm voice, courtesy of Douglas Rain, Hal emits an aura of calm and superiority that makes it all the more disturbing when he won't let Dave inside. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Number two, Roger Verbal Kent, The Usual Suspects. His name is Verbal. Verbal Kent. Verbal? Yeah. Roger, really? People say I talk too much. Yeah, I was just gonna tell you to shut up. Kevin Spacey stole the show in Seven as religious psychopath John Doe, but he was at his bad guy best as Verbal Kent. At that point, I wasn't scared. I knew I hadn't done anything they could do me for. Besides, it was fun. I got to make like I was notorious. A petty crook with cerebral palsy, Kint is one of the few survivors of a heist gone very wrong. The driver didn't see anybody, but somebody f***ed up. When interrogated by police, he tells an incredible story about how his crew was manipulated by a mythical gangster named Kaiser Soze. You've heard of him? By the street? Yeah. Yeah, a few times, you know, outside stuff. Somebody uh, working for a guy, worked for a guy, got some money from uh, Kaiser Soze, you know, shit like that. Timid and naive, it's hard not to trust Verbal's story. He becomes a myth, a spook story that criminals tell their kids at night, rat on your pop and Kaiser Soze will get you. Until the last scene when we learn the smartest villains always hide in plain sight. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I had to kill him. Then I neutralized John. No easy task. I put roughly two billion dollars into Tachyon research to block John's vision of the future. How do you choose to congratulate the greatest criminal mind of our time? Huh? huh? You tell me that I'm brilliant? It's been decided that you will be dressed as a priest to help you get away in the pandemonium afterwards. Chun Jin will give you a two-piece Soviet Army sniper's rifle that fits nicely into a special bag. You know what the scariest thing is? To not know your place in this world. To not know why you're here. Why do I think there's never been a Ripley rainy day? What? I know it was you. I know it was you. Marge. I know it was you! No! Number one, Dr. Hannibal Lecter, The Silence of the Lambs. Good morning. He was only on screen for 16 minutes, but that was plenty of time for Hannibal Lecter to terrify audiences with his psychopathic brain power. That expires in one week. You're not real FBI, are you? A psychiatrist with a flair for fine dining. <laughs> this cannibal loves playing mind games with FBI agent Clarice Starling. And with his keen understanding of the criminal mind, Lecter is the only man who can help catch serial killer Buffalo Bill. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill based on the case evidence. I'll help you catch him, Clarice. But Hannibal's brilliance truly shines when he uses brains and brawn in one of the scariest jailbreaks in cinema history. Jesus Christ! Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite smart movie villain? For more amazing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You know what they say if you uh, can't stand the heat, get out of the tunnel. <laughs>